And if Henry, if you're here, let us know. Yeah. I mean, you've drained our batteries. You're getting energy from the batteries. So what's going on at the city jail? How does Mrs. Bowen feel about working on the second floor? And I got my duds and left. And why was Kevin all alone in the dark with this character? Well, you can find out on the next Ghost Burn. We've been asked to make a return visit to the Franklin City Jail and Museum. Franklin is a town located 42 miles southwest of Atlanta and is known for its agriculture. The town is also famous as the birthplace of Mahaley Lancaster. Born in 1875, Mahaley was the first female lawyer in Georgia. She was an author, numbers runner, and a renowned psychic. Mahaley always spooked me a little bit. <laughs> She had the glass eye, which many, many say that it was a marble in her eye. She would pop that eye out. In her later years, she was a psychic or a soothsayer. But in her earlier years, she farmed with her family. Mahaley became more famous uh, after her death when the murder in Coweta County movie was filmed. Mahaley did give readings in the building. Um, the sheriff would give her one of the front rooms and he'd turn it over to her during court. Mahaley would always come to Franklin during court session. About a year ago, we did an investigation of the jail upstairs. We captured several EVPs telling us to leave, them, leave me alone, things like that. One, one of the most famous persons on display is Mahaley Lancaster. Her tombstone is actually here. It had to be removed from her grave because they, it kept being vandalized. So it's on display here as part of the museum. And upstairs is the jail. This is the old hangman's noose and the trap door. This is the women's unit. As you can see, there are only two cells in here. This is a screen that they had to use to change behind, and behind it is an old slot jar that they used to use. They had this little foot locker, that's all they had to keep their clothes in. There was no heat up here in the wintertime except for an old wood burning stove and solid metal. There's no air conditioning in the summertime, you know they were hot. And this is the men's unit. This is the lever, like you see in the old prison movies where they would pull it down to slide the doors open. And this cell is actually used for storage now, but it used to house four inmates, as well as this cell down here used to house four inmates. Now this creepy looking thing, is an actual KKK uniform from South Georgia that someone donated to be displayed here in the museum. It's uh, unfortunately a part of our sad history. And this is the other two cells. They house four inmates each. Now this cell we actually caught an EVP in the last time we were here about a year ago telling us to leave him alone. As you can see, it's not very big, it's solid metal. This is their slop jar that they had to use, and there wasn't a whole lot of room to sit. If you're a tall guy, you just had to kind of slump over. And this is their food tray. It's not a whole lot to eat, but with the sheriff's wife downstairs cooking, I'm sure they ate better than inmates today.
Tonight we're going to be doing the Old City Jail and Museum up here in Franklin. It was built in 1912. Uh, there have been some reports of paranormal activity by the lady that runs it, Miss Selma Bowen. She was there alone in the office one night when there was a loud bang upstairs. Uh, the actual hangman's noose is still upstairs in the trap doors and everything. The bottom is where the sheriff and his family lived and the upstairs was the jail. Are there any questions? Does she feel threatened by anything that they're experiencing within the jail? She didn't say that she was threatened, but she was in her office one night working and there was no one else there. And there was a loud bang came from upstairs like someone had slammed one of the cell doors shut. And even though it was built in 1912, it's got the old Sing Sing movie doors. You've seen them in movies where right. they grab the bar and all the doors slide open. That's what they have up there. So there was no one to pull the bar to slide the doors open. Right. Most of the investigation will take place on the second floor where the holding cells are located. There's no electricity there, so we relied on the ambient light from the street to run cable to our DVR cameras. Myron is now looking for the cable that he forgot. Well, this is the trap door they used to hang people in, and this is the rope. And they used to be hung the prisoners of. <laughs> and I got my duds and left when I heard someone close a cell upstairs because I wanted to prove to myself that there was nothing outside. So I went outside and looked. There was no one around. Well, when I go, when I go to do one of these uh, investigations, I like to get a feel of the place before things get started. I went upstairs into the women's section, and while I was in there, I got a sense of a, a cold finger going up my spine and a sense of dread and that's something I'm real comfortable with so I backed out of there. What I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be going back up into that area and doing a solo session and seeing if I can pull out what it was that, that gave me that to so even get some kind of a response. One of my female investigators, Rhonda Clark, had to leave due to medical issues. She's currently at the hospital receiving an IV and we're hoping to hear back from her, find out what's going on. There we go. Hey. Here he comes. I believe we're ready to go. We've got everything. I just need to make sure the cables are taped down and lock the cameras down and we should be ready to go. Tonight's investigation is a great opportunity for some of our investigators in training to get some hands-on experience. Jeff and I decided to split up into two teams. I was teamed with Alex Rainwater and Noah Anderson. Both are investigators in training. Jeff's team included veteran Kevin Clark and Donald Walters, another investigator in training. Heavenly Father, we beseech you this in your blessed son's name, Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 All, right. All right, let's go lights out and get this show on the road. Gotcha. You got flashlight? I'm sure Rhonda is not happy that she is missing the investigation. I also know that she is not going to be pleased that tonight will be an all-male endeavor. <laughs>